Welcome back. Up next, Jackie shows us how to rock the military jacket, the plaid shirt, and the tie. So how to dress like me? Yeah, a little cooler. It's menswear for women. Have you ever thought, look at that guy in the plaid. His boots are dreamy. I just want to strip the shirt right off his back. Ugh. What we're trying to say, guys, is we want to get into your pants. I mean, we want to wear them. This week's Lust Have to Must Have is about how to steal the top looks from your guy, which I'm about to do right now. I'm here with style expert Matt Fleming, who's going to help me hunt down the best men's looks we can find. Let's go. Are you ready? I am. Over there. Oh, excuse me. See, there's our first look, the urban camper. Let's get a closer look. We're here with our first look, the Urban Camper. Very nice, very nice. Looks good. You have your traditional plaid button-up, a nice puffy diesel vest, some durable jeans for breaking that firewood on a cold night, and you end that with a heavy Sorel boots to keep those tipsies warm. So how do you make this lust-have a must-have? So here's how we stole the guy's look and made it into a girl's look. We obviously have a bit more of a feminine touch with the leggings, yeah. uh, still carrying through with the heavy Sorel boots, good for camping. A nice, heavy, warm pair of jumper jacket that's going to get her through those cold nights. And also, you still carry through the plaid, as you can see, which inspires that camping sort of feel and that look. I think the best part about camping is layers and taking them off as well, right? Exactly. We've come across our second look, the elusive fisherman. He looks so lonely. Let's go join him. All right. What a catch. This is our fisherman. For our fisherman look, he started off with the tube, the pea coat, as every fisherman does. Plaid shirt underneath, it's an easy shirt for them to put on. Button up, you're ready to go. Some washed out jeans, because he's been out in the boat working all day. And you end that look with a rubber boot. How do I turn this lust have into a must have? <laughs> started off with a hat on the top. She's got her pea coat a bit shorter of a cut, so it's a bit feminine. Lots of layers under there, you know, just kind of get up, throw it on, and go. Uh, some comfortable jeans and a pair of Hunter Rain boots. <laughs> so you just tie up your coat, you're ready to go, and you're out on the ocean. I have to say there are plenty of fish in the sea, but I do think that these two are meant to be. I can see something. It's the rare hipster dog walker. Let's go take a closer look. Okay. So here we have our hipster look. You have the basic grandfather cardigan, the blue pla plaid shirt buttoned up all the way to the top, skinnier jeans tucked into a classic black boot. So how do I make this lust have into a must have? Oh yeah, oh. there we go. I think we've got a hipster love connection. Here's yeah. how you take the male look into the female look. Yes, very nice, I like this. Again, you carry over the basic cardigan, a little bit of a pattern. Definitely your classic hipster. Simple underneath with like just a seamless camisole. We have the skinny jeans tucked into the classic black boot. Walk your dog all day. Walk your dog all day. So guys, the next time a girl strolls up to you in a bar and whispers, you've got something I want. It's probably your fedora or your top or even your pants. Face it, your clothes looks great on us. Can I roll it? Back at some day? Anytime. Yeah.